how to calculate percentage in excel pie chart we will calculate the percentage in excel pie chart with the help of this table and uh, the most important thing about the pie chart pie, pie chart percentage calculation we don't need the data in percentage we can calculate the percentage in pie, pie chart without uh, without uh, percentage data means that we if we have this kind of data like we have the cost we have the price we have the profit and these are numbers in decimal format all right so what we don't need to convert this data to in the percentage format to get the result in pie chart percentage so this is a basic uh, and the important feature of microsoft excel and i want to tell you i'm going to give you training on the microsoft excel application mobile application but this training is very useful for all the uh, desktop user as well because this application is official microsoft application and the same procedure you can apply in desktop version to get the uh, percentage in excel pie chart and all the options also available over there which we will use over here in excel android application which is official microsoft application so for that i'm going to start this training uh, before that i want you to subscribe our channel and please like this video i hope you will learn with this video and this you will find this video very useful so i'm going to clear this data to get uh, show you how this application gonna work and how i'm going to create this pie chart so here you can see the chart both chart are gone from this skin so i'm going to delete these chart as well so we'll create data and then we'll create the pie chart pie chart is the feature uh, and the uh, option available on the microsoft excel uh, on that we can uh, get the result in percentage uh, you know as per uh, the data and we don't need to calculate the percentage in our data to get result in the pie chart with the percentage result so for that i'm going to you know get the cost uh, like from randomly we will get the cost for each item so i'm going to apply the random formula random between 2 to 8 and let me drag it down so to get the result In this application you can drag and drop as well uh, the option is to drag and drop you just need to select the cell and you just need to tap on the file so once you tab on it so you can drag it to bottom and you can get the result so here you can see we apply the random formula over here in all cell and for the total for the price of each item i'm going to apply a formula same formula but with different number random between this application work as the same desktop version uh, at microsoft excel work so i will really recommend you to try this application because most of the time we are, are not available in front of our of uh, desktop or our laptop so we can create report uh, or we can i'm going to drag it down here you can see how it will be how it will work we just need to select the cell and need to tap on a file option so once you uh, tap on a file option you can drag it as per your requirement and you can get the results so now i'm going to apply some formula as you apply on desktop version to get the total of each item so some formula you can select multiple cells as per your requirement or you can write the formula i will show you how it will work let me do it again for you to make it clear some formula some let me show you how it will work you can select from this to apple to cabbage and just need to press the right 
button on the formula bar so you can apply this formula as accordingly I have a call just wait a second so it was a call so now I'm going to uh, apply some formula but in different way uh, you can uh, you can apply uh, the same way on your desktop version as well so you, this is similar as desktop version this is a Microsoft official application so uh, you can use uh, the same way <coughs> you use on a desktop so some now I'm going to you know select each cell as sometimes we do when you don't know how to use some formula but I'm going to do because I want to show you how it's work over here So C6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and we get the result over here. <clears throat> now I'm going to calculate the profit. So then we can apply the, uh, uh, we can create the chart, a pie chart over here. So uh, sometimes we get the result in, uh, you know, negative, uh, it means that we do the loss as well. So I will show you how negative figure will appear in a pie chart as well so this is very important thing some you don't find this kind of training i hope so online but i i want to go i'm going to tell you how it will appear on a pie chart the negative figure as well during the positive figures so this is very important you need to learn about it so i'm going to get the profit over here so i'm going to create the uh, data uh, uh, get the profit result over here so then you will have the negative as well so cost sorry price minus uh, the price price cell is oh, oh the price cell is 5c i have to make it bigger because it's not una i'm unable to select then minus cost of apple here we have the result now i'm going to drag this formula for that i have to tap on file option and i and i can drag it and here we can apply the sum formula is equal to sum from d5 to d11 and once we click on the ok button so right button so it will give the, us the result now i'm going to create a pie chart then i will show you the negative figure of pie chart how will it will appear so for that i have to select the item first we are going to uh, create a pie chart for the products and cost so you can uh, have the chart from the you can search over here or you can see the option available here or you can find it uh, from the below options you can have the option available here you can find the chart options and here you can see the auto sum option so you can uh, apply auto sum formula as well so here you can see we have insert option over here once we have the insert option so we can up get the chart option we can go to the chart option and here we have the pie chart option so we have the multiple pie chart available over here you can use anyone as per your requirements so i'm going to select this one and uh, i will show you how the percentage will appear on this chart here you can see we have just name and the person and the uh like uh, let me show you how it will appear there are mul many options okay so here you can see we have you know name of the products over here and uh, it's not showing the numbers and we can find the option of the numbers as well numbers as well like this here you can see we have the result in the pie chart 
and it show us the numbers but not the percentage but excel give us the option of the pie chart that can show us the per result in percentage that is this layout option let me show you let me se select it again how oh, is not working let me select this layout and let me remove this chart and uh, i'm going to add this chart again i think i have selected some wrong option over here that's why it's not showing us but pie chart and i am going to select this chart and let me show you the bigger figure of pie chart now i'm going to change the layout layout first i'm going to show you how it will appear in the number format so number format will be available here as here you can see so here you can see the numbers and the name of the product is also available now i'm going to change this to percentage here you can see we have the product's name and the percentage but we can also have the option of this format so you can have the percentage of each item and uh, the uh, name of the product there is a there, now i'm going to tell you how you will see the negative result currently we have all the positive result over here but we if we have the negative uh, figure over here so how uh, pie chart will show you on the this chart so i'm going to create a chart over here and uh, and i will show you how it will work and how it will show you the pie chart in negative figure uh, before that I, let me show you there are multiple options available uh, to you know uh, if you want to you know show the this uh, uh, file to your bosses and you want to you know show some kind of presentation so you can uh, you know change this uh, chart in you know uh, good format uh, as per your requirement so we have this option over available here we can select the different options to get the you know result in a beautiful way so here you can see there is a different style available uh, to change the format of the pie chart you know to look more beautiful more attractive and more presentable and we can adjust as per our requirement uh, the size of the chart hey i think this one is you know look much better and we have another one i will show you in the negative figure chart that one that one is also you know beautiful and uh, presentable or uh, for the uh, official purpose uh, or any presentation so now i'm going to uh, show you how the negative figure will appear in the pie chart that's very important and you can use this uh, application or this exercise on your desktop version as well this will work on the same way i want you to subscribe my channel right now and give your comment if you learned something you need to subscribe and like this video i'm going to show you how negative figure will appear in this pie chart before that i'm going to show you how you can change this, the source of the, this data like if you want to check the price of uh, uh, pie chart and you want to change this so uh, let me show you how you can change the uh, data selection of uh, the pie chart so this is you can just drag it uh, on your requirement and you can change the selection of the data as per your requirement or as per your data available on your screen or on your sheet so let me decrease the size of this chart so i can create another one for the negative figure so here you can see we have the chart of positive figure now i'm going to change this uh, these numbers like uh, i'm going to change this uh, as uh, 15 15 so it will show us the negative result sorry why it's not working because it's kind of table and it's showing some error let me write here 15 15 okay 
so here you can see we have the negative result but it not showing uh, in the this uh, pie chart because the data source is not from the profit now i am going to select another uh, data and apply change the number for the pumpkin and create a negative figure for it like i'm going to apply uh, like 9 to get the nine first of all I'm going to clear this okay clear then press nine nine so here you can see we have the negative result over here So we have two negative figure on this uh, table. Uh, now I'm going to create a pie chart for this. I'm going to select the whole table. Now I'm going to apply a pie chart and I can select as per my requirement I'm going to select this pie chart and here you can see we have you know the different result uh, on over here. I'm going to reduce the size of this pie chart and removing uh, moving this chart to the another uh, position so I can show you how I'm going to work on it so let me show you how negative figure fill will appear on the pie chart this is another kind of pie chart but I will change uh, the previous one as well so you can I hope you will understand this data and uh, let me uh, change the uh, pie chart pie chart and the normal pie chart so you can understand in a better way uh, and i have to change this data source as well because it's showing the 50 a total of each now i'm going to show you how negative figure will appear <coughs> the percentage and the name of the product so here you can see the negative figure is up here so I, let me show you in another way so I hope you will understand in a more better way la, the layout layout over, available here let me change the style of this chart so I hope you will get to you will understand in a more better way I think this one is more presentable and more understandable uh, or I can check some other as well <coughs> so uh, as per your requirement you can change and you can uh, apply the formula so this is the pie chart so here you can see the apple is uh, showing the minus five in percentage this is not a decimal number this is a percentage which is calculating by the pie chart i hope you like this video we have multiple training of percentage calculation on the desktop version and the uh, mobile version there are 15 and more training of percentage and other topic as well available on my channel you can watch playlist for each topic or you can watch any video as per your requirement and you want to learn uh, which topic you want so please like if you learn any single thing from this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave your comment right now i have I will re definitely reply you if you have any question ask me I will definitely reply you very quickly in the same day in a few hours so thank you for watching I hope you like this video and subscribe our channel.